hospitals are turning to robots to help with nursing burnout. Uh, there's a hospital out in uh, Virginia, Fredericksburg, Virginia, that uh, started implementing. They added two robots to their nursing crew to help uh, transport different things around the hospital. Uh, and it says it's freed up 600 uh, hours of time, uh, which has helped the nurses avoid burnout, which is good, but is also a very convenient way to start replacing people with robots, uh, saying that they are helping the people. Oh, we're, we're, we're freeing, instead of hiring more nurses, we're going to start investing in robots. We're going to be uh, the pilot program to where eventually most nurses will not be people. Eventually, Nurses will be replaced with robots, and this, the way they're selling it is that we're helping the nurses avoid burnout. It's, this is just one more example of robots taking over, which is going to happen. All driving jobs are going to be gone. Delivery jobs are going to be gone. Uh, jobs like nursing is going to be gone. Uh, a lot of doctor uh, surgeries, manufacturing is already primarily robots. A lot of jobs that used to be held by human beings are going to be robots within the next 10 years. Easily within the next 10 years. And they're all going to be sold to the public with this idea that they're helping. Meanwhile, that they're eliminating jobs and at the same time, some states, some cities are making it illegal to be poor. Like, it's I illegal. I forget which state it was that recently passed a thing that made it illegal to be homeless. Uh, and it's just, you know, some state that wants to fill up private prisons. It's going to be, I mean, prison growth in this country, private prison growth. Mark my words. Mark Zuckerberg is trying to predict when his augmented reality is going to be this iPhone moment, I am going to predict that the biggest growth in this company, aside from robots, aside from augmented reality, is going to be private prisons and how many are going to be built, how many are going to be filled with all the people that can't afford to live anywhere because minimum wage is still $7.25 or $7, whatever it is. It's impossible to live on minimum wage in this country. It's impossible to live in, I mean, even double minimum wage. It's almost impossible to live. Like, it's ridiculous. The, the, the world that we, are, we, are, we have built for ourselves in this country, the world that, that capitalism has, has created for us to exist in, uh, is going to be one in which... There are just people who, who are unable to make ends meet are going to be filling private prisons. That is my prediction. And it's going to be sold in this manner where robots... There's a great short film that's on uh, HBO Max, and I'm blanking on the name. Uh, but it's a great short film, like sci-fi short film, near future where it's like this kid walking down the street and a drone, you know, a quadcopter comes down and it's a police quadcopter and it says he's arrested. And he's like constantly asking, what did he get arrested for? He doesn't know what he did. He's never, you know, charged, properly charged. He gets taken to a prison. Like he, at no point, there's, he's the only actor really in this whole short film. He goes to this prison. Everything's automated. There's a screen that pops up that like tells them like, oh, you can you can uh, hire a lawyer or you can uh, get a public defender. And it's like if you get a public defender, you're going to be here for 10 years. If you you know, if you have a million dollars, you can hire this private lawyer. It's a crazy and it's like he was never told like it was all a mistake that he was in there to begin with but everything's automated so there's nobody it's like trying to contact customer service when something doesn't work that's how our legal system potentially according to this short film is going to be and i could see that everything being automated because they don't it's humans you have to pay humans 
but you don't have to pay robots. You just have to maintain them. You don't have to pay automated systems. You just have to get them create, pay to get them created. But once they're there, it's it's you know it's way cheaper than actually paying people to live. So anyway, I mean, I f on the short term, I'm glad that in this hospital, nurses are avoiding burnout, but. If they don't know that they are just the test, the beta test for eventually eliminating humans from the nursing profession and replacing humans with ner with uh, robots, then you know only only like high end hospitals will have a you know personal like an actual human there for like nostalgia purposes, and all they do is like hold your hand or whatever. They don't really do much. They just, they're just there as a, a human presence. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.